Hey, this is Robot here for ScooterWest.com. I have two exclusive products that fit your Vespa Sprint or Primavera here. Real easy products to install and they add to the comfort and use of your scooter tremendously here. First of all, I got the passenger foot pegs. Part number on these is PRO2-BZ. And the whole idea of these foot pegs is it's a more solid spot for your passenger to put their feet up on. Um, they retract when you're not using them and when you have a passenger or if you're doing a long solo ride they also add to the comfort another spot to rest your feet when you're riding on long trips. S second part I got here is the side stand kind of adds to the convenience of when you want to quickly park the scooter um, you know safely on like level ground a lot easier to use than the, the stock center stand Real easy to install, two screws is all you need to install that. Part number on this is PR10BK. It works just like a bicycle side stand or any on any motorcycle. Just kick it down, put the scooter down, and there you go, walk away. All right, installation of the passenger foot, foot pegs is pretty simple. I have a T30 Torx driver. You can also find that same driver in the tool kit that's included with your scooter. Remove the single screw. And next, you want to pull straight up on the peg. It's retained by these two clips right here, and it pulls right out. And you'll find one screw exposed under, underneath the original foot peg, T25 fastener. Go ahead and remove this screw. The left and the right install pretty much identical. Go ahead and put the peg down. and get the included stainless steel screw started by hand. And then there's the second screw. Take your four millimeter Allen. This one's got a ball end, so you can kind of get a little bit more clearance when tightening the screw here. And the Phillips screw in the front. And now you have the foot peg. All right, for the side stand install, super simple. Already underneath the left side of your frame is gonna be two threaded bosses. One right there and one in the front. The side stand has two screws that engage those two bosses. Take the two included screws. There's a star style internal locking washer. You go ahead and hold the side stand up into place and just get the two screws started by hand. Yeah, so I'm getting it, I don't know, maybe three quarters of the way threaded in. And it's key that you just get them started because there's a little bit of play in getting these holes all to line up. So now that they're both hand tight and installed, you can go ahead and use your Allen fastener to go ahead and tighten those two screws. There you go, side stand installed. As simple as that. All right, got, got the side stand installed. I'll show you how that works. So say I'm gonna park on a level surface or up, back the scooter up against a curb. Just get in there, kick that down. I always like to hold it with my foot just to be safe. And kind of tip the bike to the left, step right off it. And you can see it's pretty good, but you gotta be careful. You know, if you, if you pick it up, you know, sometimes the stand will want to fling up and that's a safety feature. So it doesn't take much for it to go back up. You know, it's, it's spring loaded. So, you know, you put it down, make sure it's, it's all the way retracted. Don't want to have the scooter fall over. Again, hop on the scooter, kick it up, start the scooter and go away. But you got the pegs, you can use your heel to flick them out cool thing is you could kind of rest your feet on it. it just is a different spot so you go from the floorboard to here but ideally they're set up for your passenger so you know say you have a passenger on the back sitting on the back seat it's a good spot for them to put your, their feet versus a stock uh, setup you kind of get your whole foot on the floorboard on whatever that little plasticky thing that they normally come with so this works much better for the passengers